guys, it's Debbie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we speak like speak what you seek until you see what you said. In today's video, I'm super excited because I'm taking you guys along on my 24 hour EMT shift for Thursday crew weekend duty. So that being said, let's get started with this video. As you guys know, I am a EMT, which stands for Emergency Medical Technician. I volunteered down in Montgomery County for the Wheaton Station, and so every crew, uh, day crew, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, me being Thursday, uh, has to come in for a weekend 24-hour shift. So this weekend, it's our turn, and all that being said, I thought it would be a great idea to take you guys along and vlog, you know, everything that goes from checking out the units, having our meetings, meeting some awesome people and obviously not showing you guys in action what I'm doing because of HIPAA violation, but you guys get that. I do have to step out from 5 to 10 p.m. because I do have a service to go to. They wanted me to play and obviously I want to participate. So I found someone to cover me for those five hours. I should be heading back to the station to finish off my 24 hour shift. I'm super excited because I um, got my aid status which means EMT in charge of the whole call in charge of the whole unit I got it about three weeks ago hence why I am wearing now a collar shirt I'm so grateful for everyone that helped me out I'm so grateful for everyone that had patience with me going through this process it's awesome I do have a ceremony to get to before my shift they're basically going to give me my badge all that being said it is currently 10 20 um, and my shift starts at 12 got to be there around 11 30 uh, I am 45 minutes away have to go eat breakfast and yeah I'll take you guys along with me all right so let's head out okay guys so I made it to the station and waiting to um, it's actually like close to 12. So I came early just in case. Three person DOS Angel, 834 Fairbank Engine 702 respond to Tech Bravo, Box So that's like the dispatch that we get um, at our station, depending on where the call, uh, the location is. And if it's close to us, then we would get, you know, dispatches like that. Anyway, so yeah, I came in 20 minutes early just because you always had to be early when this um, comes so that you could like relieve uh, the people that were already in the past shift. But so far, no one is here. No ambulances are here. So I came in early and now it's time to do our meetings and probably do our checkout. So I'll show you guys that. So good. Just promoted. Big step. Of our newest fully fledged aid people. Thank you. Again, congratulations. And so with this. And this one is uncontrolled. It's uncontrolled. It, and it's for sure, it's unit. uncontrolled. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we keep the county unit until you guys come back. And then once you guys come back, we switch with the Bravo. Okay. okay. So can you actually go? All right. So this is the ambulance. It's a bit messy. <laughs> it kind of is a bit messy, but this is Lizzie, aka Hall. She is another aide. So what do we usually do? So every time before shift starts, we have to check out our unit. So we're gonna check everything from the cabinets into that little red bag. We have more cabinets on the outside. Um, so right now. We're going to start with our little red EMS bag. This is what we take vitals with. Yep, this is all our stuff, so let's get started with checking this unit out. Ferrari, our driver. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, glad to be here. It's a beautiful Saturday. We're going to have a great <laughs> 24 hours. Yes, we are. So we're checking out Bravo unit right now, which has been out. For yeah, for a long time because there was no AC in the back. Right? Oh, oh and it, no, no AC in the front. And no AC in the front. You remember yeah. sweating up there with yeah. me? Yeah. Yep. That, so, that was something else. Yeah. So we're making sure that we're stocked and ready to go so we can put this in service. All right, guys. So right now I'm checking the PPE kit, which is for our ambulance. This is everything we need in case we interact with a COVID patient or patient that has symptoms of COVID. So usually in here we have our N95s, we have face shields, we have gowns to put over um, ourselves. So we're strapped. We're making sure that we don't get, you know, contacted 
uh, but we're staying safe all the time. So right now I have to do a count, make sure we have enough for everybody on the unit, which is three people, um, and for the whole call. And then in there, we also have goggles and face masks. So all that being said, let's go ahead and check this out. The room that I'm currently in is our EMS room. It's basically where we have all our equipment that we need to stock up on in the ambulances, whether it's tourniquets, whether it's everything for the glucometer, blood pressure. It's where we stock up all our COVID safety gear. Um, so whenever we're missing something in the ambulance, we're most likely gonna go to this room to restock it. So we gotta stay safe. Everything in here looks stopped. And that being said, let's put it back in our unit. Stay safe, everybody, and EMS also stay safe. All right, so this is the front of the ambulance, basically everything that we have. Uh, all the dispatch, all the commentary from the incident is in this. And then we have our radios, which I have to attach to my shop. But right now, looking at the radio, turning it on, I am at like one, sorry. Second is pulling up right now, so. That's why it's still alive. But anyways, looking at the battery of this, it is on one and it tells you right there that battery is low. So I'm going to change that right now. Guys, right, so this is our new lieutenant. Just passed his lieutenant class. And this is my boy Juan. Juan, What's what do up? you do? How you doing? Uh, I'm a lieutenant, fire rescue lieutenant here at, at Wheaton. Um, it's pretty much officer of a crew and uh, you know, go out fight fires rescue people yes. all the good stuff so he's not on an ambulance he's actually on a rescue squad which has like all the tools correct for like correct yeah we have all the tools uh, it's basically a giant toolbox on wheels uh, we can basically cut any car uh, make any car convertible in about you know a minute or two tops well I'm glad yeah this, this yeah. is my boy right here right what's that <laughs> That's uh, Andreas Lair Ferrari. He's going into, he's leaving us because he's going into his last year for med school. Oh, he's going to Czech Republic. That's right. Yeah, he's going to be a doctor. Bigger and better things. Un doctor. Un mira. doctor de medicina. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, he's my driver today, guys. He's he's an awesome person. Yeah, Thank right? you. He's, he's a chill dude. Awesome Most of the people here, especially on Thursday crew, he's the usually on Wednesday, but he belongs on Thursday. So, when they call us, sometimes they might just want to check up or they're just unsure of their condition. So, when a patient refuses transport, you can refuse care and you can refuse transport. So, this patient refused uh, transport. So, we checked her out, we looked at her vitals and make sure that she was uh, able mentally as well as physically to refuse uh, transport in our care. So, you don't always have to go to the hospital when you call 911. So we just made sure she was good good to stay stay home. Yeah, so basically we took her vitals, we got some information from her. Again, you always gotta convince the patient because sometimes they may be like, ah, at the moment, um, but later they might feel bad, but told her that if she was feeling worse later on, feel free to call us back because that's what we're here for. Uh, but anyways, we're heading back to the station to get uh, more calls. So, yeah. See you on the next one. Okay guys, so right now I am just completing a, a EPCR, which is a electronic patient care report. Basically everything that we did in the call, we just um, go ahead and do it here. Just finishing up the vitals that I took for the patient as well as um, everything that w that was asked about the patient. And so that's what we're doing here. We're recording all our data for anything, you know, that has to do with court cases, hospital cases, anything like that, that we upload into the system. So I'm just writing my narrative, basically what the patient told me and why the patient did not want to go to the hospital. So these are our co-pilots, which are, you know, very important people that help us get stuff I'm when we need it on this. time. I'm not signing off. You can't show my face. I want my face blurred. 
You can't even see your face because you're covered by your mask. I want my face blurred. That is Aliana, Brandon, and Lorena. Uh, we have seven co-pilots. Call number two of today. What are we doing, guys? So we just disinfected this after uh, just transporting a patient. Now we are uh, remaking the cot so that uh, oops, so that the next patient can uh, lie on here. So. so it's important to disinfect everything that you use inside and out of the ambulance. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. Right, we don't want to pass anything to the next patient as well as it's uh, personal pride to make sure that the bed looks nice and comfortable for <laughs> the next patient to use. I think you did pretty good. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> Better than I do in my bed at home. I'll tell you oh that. yeah, you're right. Is it hot outside, Ferrari? Is it hot outside? It's very hot. It's extremely hot. And these uniform colors do not help out. But so, small sacrifice to pay for the job that we do. It's exactly. very rewarding. So. Exactly. Yes, it is. So we're heading to get food right now because you know we're mad hungry. I mean, I am. But he's about to eat lasagna later tonight. Like you guys know, I won't be here later tonight, which is kind of sad. But being the good friend he is, he's gonna save me some, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so fake. It is, it, depending on how much is left. Yeah, you're right. We're, we're all scavengers in there. Like, when the time it comes to eat, we eat. Alright, so Chipotle. It's like four minutes. Alright, sir, so you're gonna turn left, and then, yeah, only Sandy Springs Road, you turn right. Got it. This is our study room. Basically, what we do here is we use this big uh, whiteboard to basically lie out some drills, some things that we need to remember, uh, protocol, everything like that. This is what all that is. These are our hospitals. I see that people were trying to study that, so that's that. And all this here in the corner is training drill. So we have mannequins, CPR dolls, we have seat collars, we have um, long boards. We really don't use this, but we use it for the anatomy. Uh, we have the bags that we usually use. Um, and everything is here to train. Uh, three doses of nitroglycerin, right? So you want to be able to give her an accurate reading and be like, hey, that was a total of 1.2, okay? So that's everything with nitroglycerin. What was the other one you wanted to do? Okay, good. So we usually take this time to go over our Maryland protocol, everything that a EMT provider should know based off of what we see during the call at the scene. We also go over how to splint, you know, how to address certain wounds, how to address certain calls. Um, and so we collaborate with one another to make sure that each of us are on the same page so that we can work better as a team. A third the call, pedestrian struck. Third call, he already has his safety vest on. Safety vest first, always. Just ran our third? Third? Third call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, so we went to a hospital uh, that's known for traumas because this call was a PIC, which stands for? Personal Injury Collision. Yeah, so pedestrian was struck. He did okay, though. So I made it in my car and now I'm heading down to the church where I'm going to be uh, celebrating their anniversary at and uh, I I almost got into another call which was going to make me miss this thing so thank god we worked it out and stuff like that um, but yeah now I have to head there so I have about 10 minutes to prepare for the songs that I'm going to sing and then I'll be back at 9 so all that being said I'll see you guys then Tonight, but I received the word of faith and the 
promises of God in my life. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see me, but I just got out of the service. It is currently uh, 8.45, and I have to head my, you know, head back to the station to finish my 24-hour shift. But today's service was awesome, very powerful. Can't wait for tomorrow's service. Um, but anyways, that being said, let's go back to the station. Hey guys, so I'm back at the station, and it is currently 9.24, so I am back. Um, after like three hours so that I can finish off this 24-hour shift and so far I am feeling good It hasn't hit me sleep hasn't hit me yet. Anyway, that being said, let's go see what the co-pilots are doing <laughs> Are we on? Yes. Yo, what up? This is MTV Cribs Wheaton edition. <laughs> we here out in my pad We be chilling with all my homies out here <laughs> What? Uh, I was just gonna add. There you go. Alright, Chris has to step back. Yikes. Alright, let's play elimination then. Alright, yeah, but elimination. Okay, go. Okay, yeah. Okay, so keep going back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't do it, he's out. So, so I'm out? Yeah, you're out. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Isn't he out? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm out. out. Oh, oh, so it's bad. just you and me? Yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> Please don't make it. Uh, uh, guys, I win. Um, PPE check out at some point. Or no oh, check. oh yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you guys do that? Uh, no, no, Are you on second do for him? I got the other two. Together, and yeah. as soon as Mark Roger leaves, we'll be back first two. We're second right now. Let's just go do that then. Okay. Alright, so call number four. I was putting on first two, so. Yep. Okay, guys, so we finished transporting a patient and we cleaned the unit like usual. And again, this is my co pilot, Aliana. And I just thought, you know, um, we need to start figuring out, or you guys need to start figuring out what like co pilots do in a sense, like what they're role is and during scenes and calls and everything like that so who best to say it than Aliana herself I mean I guess it just depends on the aid right so usually it's taking vitals so blood pressure pulse respirations that kind of thing um, sometimes a blood sugar testing and glucose if the patient is diabetic or potentially diabetic and then I mean it just depends it's whatever like getting things for the aid whatever they need Vas a dormir? Good night, driver. I'll see you. See you in like 30 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> when we get another call. <laughs> Bye. Sweet dreams. <laughs> you too. <sighs> Why does it have to be such a bad call? It is freaking 2 in the morning. That's the perfect call. All right. Seven. <laughs> and they're trying to touch the ceiling. So let's see if Abe can touch the ceiling. <laughs> I got you. Oh, oh <laughs> you're closer. so close. Try it again. Let me see. I think I got it. Eight. I don't want like I don't want to hit it out of place again though. Oh, I hit the, I hit <laughs> the wrong one. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Alright guys, it is 8.20 and I am running on two, one hour and a half, two hours of sleep. I was on first two. I think I just ran my eighth call. Eight or nine, I don't really know. But I'm tired. I'm about to sleep in the TV room. We have like a little TV room with like the most comfortable list 
they're comfortable couches there that I can lay on and sleep until I get dispatched again. But I'm sorry I didn't take you on those because one was dispatched at 2 in the morning and the other one was dispatched at 5.30 or 6 in the morning and yeah. Take off my boots and let's uh go. I think this goes back too. All right, I'll see you guys when I get dispatched again, so. Dude, that not felt good. It was desperately needed. It's currently 10.18, so I had like a good two hours to sleep, and then my shift ends in one hour and 40 minutes. It's 10:24. We have what is it? It's 10. It's 10, not 1. 10:24. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I heard one. Third degree, third degree. We're gonna do the base. How do you guys feel about 24 hour shifts? <laughs> look at look at us. We're like. I think our facial expression. Sorry. Well. We're like dead. And now we're gonna go clean the base where all the ambulances are, the chase car, the rescue squad, and all the other miscellaneous stuff that is out there we have to take out. And then we have to like mapialo con like soap and water and everything like that. And as you can tell, we're taking our sweet time even though they called us. It's so bright outside, yo. Yeah, so. All the ambulances and police cars are out. Oh, too bright! And then we have to like mop. We're gonna soak all this down. Yeah. And yeah. Can I ask how you feel after like three hours of sleep. I feel. <laughs> I feel all right. Face. I feel okay. You feel okay? Yeah. I had a good two-hour power nap in the TV room. So, so like, I want to sleep. I think this is Nelson's. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna just throw it in his locker here. Can you put it on the open? These are the career guys' lockers. So, we don't get one. Basically, what we're doing is we're gonna broom first. Once we broom, we're gonna wet it and then we're gonna put soap. And, yeah, mira la cinderella. <laughs> yeah, this is where we keep all our. Uh, it's not the neatest, but it's what we have, so. I'm ready to get a, a broom. I don't think there's any left. I don't think there's any left in here. Well, you know what that means, Lizzie? You don't get this. Like, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, look what I have to do. <laughs> Ooh. What is going on? Oh, yeah. Get it all in there. Ambulance is beautiful. Actually, I never gave you guys a tour, but this is the rescue squad, which has again all the tools needed for people that are stuck in vehicles or you know help with house fires. This is our robbery unit for the um, ambulances, and this is the alpha unit that I was on. This is like the really old ambulance, but it is what it is. But yeah, this was the one I was on. So hopefully we won't go get this patch again. So this right here is our UTV. It's basically used for when, you know, people go hiking or on bike trails and they get hurt and you know these ambulances cannot fit in those little pathways. We take these all the way up to care for the patient. Um, you know, so we have all our equipment in this little thing right here. We have our helmets. Obviously we drive up to the location and then we do the same thing we would do in the ambulance but just in a smaller, like, go-kart vehicle. It's, it's all works. <laughs> okay, show me. Show me what happened. Oh my... This is all does. Let me see. Show my viewers. The screen is like, oh, but it still works. Wow. That's what you get for slipping in. You were supposed to be here like 20 minutes ago. I was, I was dealing with this in 20 minutes. <laughs> What's more important? Second, I'm kidding. <laughs> wetting the floor. We'll put shampoo on it and then we're gonna use these to basically clean the floor. Mira, está limpiando con el squeegee. We're done, guys. Liz, do you wanna go get breakfast? See, I have pizza. You see, I, I don't wanna go. <laughs> 
<laughs> no boy, get out of there, boy. You're not a medic boy. Sucker. We're gonna go get fuel. That's why. Oh, for real? Yeah. I drive this bad boy. So do I. <laughs> so do I. So you're not special. <laughs> but I am telling him to go. He just finished his driver training and telling him to go to medic class. We'll see. We need, a, we need a Thursday crew, another Thursday crew representing out here. Yeah, let's stick with, let's get driving done Hi, Taco. Hi. She's the paramedic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. All right, yeah, I looks like I got a call, so I'll see, I won't see you guys when I get back. Yeah, I'll be here. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. All right, guys, it looks like we got a call. I was really hoping we didn't get anything because it is currently 11, 18. Ambulance 742 taking the call for the Bravo unit. Okay, Ambulance 742. So, this is Suleyma. It's not for Ari anymore. <laughs> he left, but she took over the ship. She's from Sunday. Um, yeah, she's pretty cool. So we're responding to the call that got dispatched. So, yeah. All right, so it is. Can you see that? Turn off. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. So it's 12:16, and you guys know that our shift ended at 12, but we got dispatched around 11. So sometimes this happens, but now Sunday crew is here to relieve us. All that being said. I think I ran like a total of nine calls and Aliana, she was a huge help. She got her last patient assessment. Yay. So she's like done with all that. Like we said earlier, she was in EMT class and she was doing that. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just finishing up the ETCR. Again, it's called the electronic patient care report. And we're heading back to the station and then we are out. We'll be back on Thursday, so. Okay, so can you tell that I finished my 24 hour shift? Because your girl's tired anyways um yep that was the end it is currently it is currently 12 44 and i just got out of the station which is right over there um i'm heading back home i live in baltimore so it's like a 40 45 minute drive but i think it's all worth it because i love what i do i love volunteering i love the people that i work with they're so awesome so cool so selfless um and yeah they're pretty cool peeps so I'm very happy that I got introduced to the station and that I'm able to practice my patient care thus far and you know get to know more about the healthcare field and first responders so all well, that being said it's no joke you know we do risk ourselves a lot of times but we we cautiously do that just so that we know that the patient is cared for um, that they could go to the hospital and feel safe they can feel like themselves again so all that being said again please just wear your mask keep social distancing try to limit um the amount of people that you oh look bravo unit just went out too i don't think you can see it but yeah limit the amount of people you gather with and just just be cautious of other people because you may be the healthiest person ever but other people are just not and so that being said if you guys like this video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and also please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this i do like vlogging videos i know you guys like vlogging videos because you want to know what i do throughout my day um again if you like this go ahead and comment down below i'll see what else i can do i know my crew enjoyed it a lot um and i hope you guys got to see how amazing they are uh and how fun they are and everything like that so that being said god bless you all and i'll see you guys next time bye bye